Welcome back to our 7 p.m. match here in the Ho Chunk Casino, and it's Jasmine Ocean. She started the day out with us against Dennis Grabe, and now this is a, a one loss side match with Joven Bustamonte. And back with me in the commentary booth, he's finished his playing for this tournament, I believe, is Tony Robles. Well, that the your loss is my game because now I've got you here forever. There's no escaping. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here for the rest of the matches for the next two days plus tonight. So I'm excited. Yeah, I had, a, I had a fun match with uh, Roberto. We both played well. Uh, I unfortunately scratch on the break hill hill for the first set. So he got ball in hand and ran out. And then I lost 4-1 the second set. So, you know, good luck to him. Very well played. Gracious in defeat, as always, Mr. Tony Robles. And coming to the table is Jasmine Ocean from Austria, proudly wearing the name on her back there. And she was very unlucky this morning, came back very well against the Estonian Dennis Grabet and lost just on a shootout. And that was a very, very good game. Yeah, it really was. Uh, the shootout was pretty awesome. So she'll come to the table nice and refreshed from earlier. I'm wondering if she's going to push either for a jump. I think she's going to push for a jump or a dead straight shot on the one ball. That's one strategy that I used to use years ago where I would leave the cube on the other rail was if it were possible and leave him dead straight. So that way they'll think twice about, you know, elevating the cue and, and you know, trying to make the ball and draw back but there are certain players that you can't leave that shot yeah i think he's gonna joshua filler this. and jason shaw two that come to mind yeah they are experts at this shot just raising the butt dipping the cue down and drawing back and the big secret to that shot is keeping that head absolutely still he's gonna go for the follow since he has an angle and he jumped up off it then yeah. as well. Jumped right up in the air. And you just spoke about keeping yeah. your head perfectly still. And that's the first thing. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not. You'd think it is, wouldn't you? And you think it is. You're telling yourself, stay down, stay down, stay down. And mm -hmm. then you jump up. <laughs> it's like telling a kid, don't touch that. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the game is 10 ball. Early 10s do count. It's two races to four up and it's cool shot. So Yasmin opting to just play another safety shot there. Has she got there? I think she has just about a little bit short of pace there, Tony. I think there's a bit of the ball here. He might be able to drag the cue ball in behind the 10 here. Hmm. Perhaps not. Maybe he's looking at the rails, is he? Two, yeah, two I mean, rails? if he tries to hit this on the right side of the, of the 10 ball, I mean, the two ball, he's going to run into the 10. He would want to run into it, you know, on the full side. Oh, yeah. This I is a much see. better shot. Yeah. Well, the six has gone close. He mm. should have called it. Didn't. So, chance then. First chance for Jasmine Ocean. She's won everything the game has to offer. also came second in dance with the stars now i know that you had a little joke with her earlier on yeah i know jasmine a long time since uh when she first came to the united states and played in the bca open in 2004 and is that the one you won is that the one you won that's the one that's the year i won yes um and uh when i saw her earlier today i, I started dancing a little salsa in front of her she started laughing <laughs> just joking around but she did well in dancing with the stars uh it was uh, a great opportunity to put pool in the map as well i think it was dancing with the stars uh the the one the austrian version right absolutely yeah nicely played in it goes and uh, there's some other games going on. There's five other games going on at the moment. Tyler Steyer is in action. So is um, Beda al and we'll keep you up to date. Both of them are 1-0 ahead in their respective matches. So we keep you up to date with them. Meanwhile, Yasmin on the four. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. I like the way she played that. 
would have been nice. It just tilts her head a little bit there. Well, would have been nice just to, to shoot, clip yeah. the nine, wouldn't mm -hmm. it then? On goes the 12 inch extension. I know it's 12 inches because Daniel Schneider told me, mm -hmm. and he's also the Predator player. Yeah, I saw Daniel earlier. I told him I was very impressed with his commentary. Yeah, he's, he speaks a lot of sense. He's the yang to my ying. <laughs> Over here, you just uh, draw it back a bit. No rails here. Come above the nine. And, you know, you want more or less the angle that she has now. You want to come above it. And you don't have to hit it hard on these tables, you know, to get the, the angle that you want. And she's got a real spring in her step. She's almost doing the fox trot around the table. <laughs> Nicely played. So this easy 10 ball for 1-0 to Jasmine. And this is the one lost side, and it goes. And just looking around, uh, Jesus Atencio is also in action. He's playing uh, Miller. He's one zero ahead. You're and I believe that's a winner side match, correct? It is. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing Rick Miller from Pennsylvania. Rick used to play on my uh, tour, the Predator Prime Tour, when I ran in New York. Good guy. So we'll keep you up to date with any other scores. Nothing to speak of at the moment. Tyler Steyer is up one nothing against uh, the Buddhists. Yeah. And we still have another match for you here after this one. And we've got Jeremy Seaman. I was just having a word with Jeremy Seaman. He's over there on the booth table having a practice. And he said he gave up smoking after Arizona and hasn't had a cigarette since. He hasn't substituted it with anything. 22 years he was a smoker and hasn't had one since Arizona. Jeremy Seaman. Wow, that's pretty strong. Well done, Jeremy. Best thing you'll ever do. I did it. You'll start to breathe years. better, believe me. My dad did that. He told me first thing he noticed after three months is, is how much better he, he was able to breathe. He actually came down here in shorts this morning. And I said, what are you doing in shorts? And he said, um, I've just come from the gym. He was on the, the treadmill. He was on the running mm. machine. So good for you, mate. Back to this. <clears throat> Dry break. And a shot at the one. Now, are you playing this in the side? You know, if he decides to shoot this in the side he needs to be careful and make sure that he has an angle that doesn't take you to the left side of the four because if it does it's going to go towards the six ball um if he's able to hit it like on the left uh, the right side of the four if he has an angle to do that he might be able to draw past the seven and end up with the shot so if but if he can get just past the four then the spin alone will do it yeah there oh, you go oh how nice has he played this needs a little flick off the tent well, a little bit awkward queuing here. Now here, you know, he needed to get a little straighter. I'm pretty sure he wanted to get straight so he could just roll it down and play the three in the side. I'm not sure if he can avoid that point, but hitting the point might not be that bad because, you know, even though a lot of times it's unpredictable, if you hit the point, it can go towards the nine. It can go between the nine and the ten, between the eight and the nine. You know, I, I don't really see anything bad happening here unless you hit it too soft. The other option is to play safe. There's always an option, Tony. I mean, you know, you can stick the cue ball there and bank it two rails, but you have to hit it pretty good. You can also follow it up a bit and then lead the cue ball by the, bo bo by the bottom rail. I think he's going to go for it. Hmm, the, the ball went, the ball like, you know, uh, swerved a little bit after it came off the, the ball at the cushion. I'm just wondering, has he got the edge here? He might even be able to make this in the bottom left-hand corner if he can. Yeah, he called it. Question is, will he be able to avoid the traffic to come back for the four? He's playing with a huge amount of left-hand English, and look at that. He's drawn it all the way back. Mm. Oh, he's unfortunate to catch the four, though. At least he hasn't scratched. 
but he's hooked. And there you see it, absolutely plumb. That was a great shot. Had a huge amount of left-hand English on that cue ball. He can't kick the bottom rail too because the point is in the way. Yeah, this is awkward, isn't it? He doesn't shoot soon. He's going to hear the beat. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. Oh, wow. did he call it? He did call it. But look at this. Oh, not again. Wow. Oh, oh, no, he, he didn't, didn't call it. it. Well, but I she think, has the option. Though. Yeah, I think I know what's going to happen here. <laughs> you can have that one back, Joven. You did it. You deal with it. Mm -hmm. Well, we just saw one great kick from him. Although he didn't call it. He needs another one here. See, Jim Rempe taught me this shot years ago. He says, shoot to hit the side of the five so you can bank it one rail. <clears throat> you can bank it one rail, and if you miss the one rail, it might hit the second rail and go to the opposite pocket. But more importantly, you get to hit the ball thin enough so that way the cue ball comes off the top rail and then comes back downtown, right? <laughs> See, over here, she's going to try to leave the cue ball behind the seven, eight, nine. There you see, very sturdy bridge hand. Oh, hit it great. played this well. She's played this very well. Yeah, and you can't jump this, so he's going to have to go off the bottom rail. Now here, there's a possibility he might be able to make the five off the nine in the right-hand side pocket. It looks like it might be on. He, okay, so I guess he likes the other, the other pocket better. He, but he needs to make sure he doesn't hit it too hard because he doesn't want the cue ball to stay on that path, you know, the 90 degree angle longer. The harder you hit it, the longer it stays and it'll increase the chance of scratching in the side. He doesn't want to wow. scratch in the side. Oh. Now then, a chance to take the second rack and this is a chance. Mm -hmm. Had some great games for you today. Wonder if she's going to play position for the six in the same pocket or go back and forth. She might go east, west, east, west. <laughs> same pocket. Oh, look at this. Played it very well. And I'll tell you, she's looking good this evening. I know Jasmine likes to work out as well. She's a triathlete. She loves to run, swim, bike. She's into a yoga as well that's awesome puts a lot of videos on instagram of all the different exercises she does fitness fanatic as is her brother albin yeah her brother albin might be watching the match hi albin yeah I know doing, he's, over, he's over are, in england at doing, the buddy? moment he's in england isn't he I'm not sure, is he? I think he's, well, he's on his way there at least, I think. That's why he's not here. Oh, she's looking very good. So this for 2-0, and then we're going to go for a quick break, and then we'll be back with rack number three.
back. Yasmin Ocean ready to break off in rack number three, leading two to zero. And there's Tim De Reuter in the background with his gimbal and his foam look. Getting a close up. We'll be seeing these on the highlight reel on the Predator website tomorrow morning. Breaking from the side, Tony. He almost went to the corner. Cubo tailed off the last second. You haven't finished your mint, have you, that I just gave you? I did. Have you finished it? Yeah. Good man. I yeah. don't want people to hear me, you know, chewing on it. <laughs> they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty awesome. You'd believe what he just done. I said, take a couple. He took two out, gave me two back and kept the tin of Altoids. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> nice little trick to use against <laughs> the kids. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> you mint bully. You. <laughs> Just bring you some scores from around very, very quickly. Tyler Steyer took the second rack, also leads Pierce Labutas 2 0. Oh, Wahadi 2 1 up against Brecker. Atencio now 2 0 up against Rick Miller. And Kang Lee has taken the first rack against Brian Keeling. There you go, you're up to date. Yasmin at the table on the one. Just a clever little shot if she's got enough pace on the cue ball. Needs it to run. Needs it to run. Mm. Oh, Just wow. came short. It looked like a great shot. And then all of a sudden, it just held up. I mean, this is, this is an, if he can see the one, he's not going to have trouble getting it across the table as long as he can get past the three. If he's trying to play in the corner, if he's trying to play it in the uh, bottom left-hand corner, He's going to have to hit this with some stun followed with a little bit of speed to get it across. See, you had to hit wow. it with quite, quite a bit of speed to get it across yeah, because, you know, there, it's a stun follow shot. So he didn't have uh, that much of an angle. I think he's going to, uh, Jasmine's going to find herself behind the eight ball here, though. Yeah, that's definitely a good shot right there. Just want to make sure that you bank that two ball past that six ball, if, if at all possible, so that way it'll end up in the bottom rail. Right past the six ball. Yeah, got good cover there. And this isn't that easy, Tony. I think she can hit it. If she can squeeze by that nine, she might be able to hit it and even stop the cue ball there. Problem is that she only has a six as a blocker, so she would have to hit it absolutely perfect in order to end up blocking him with the six, you know? But, you know, she can hit it. She might as well call the top left-hand pocket just in case she happens to bank it one rail there. If not, then, you know, she can always go three rails. That's what she's looking at. Try to hit it dead straight if possible. The cue ball can stop there. She can make it in the side. She can hit the bottom of it and send a cue ball towards the 7 and the 10. You know, a lot of good things can happen, but you still have to hit it good, and you still have to hit it, with more importantly, with the right speed. Oh, this looks good. This looks great. Oh. Until it hit the 8 ball, and now just a stop shot here for the 3 in the side. Well, what happened there, she, she hit the ball first. She was trying to hit the rail before the ball. So that, that's kind of what, you know, messed up the shot there. Straightforward draw back then for the five. If you're wondering what those percentages are on your screen to the right, their percentage chance of winning this set. So at the moment, Yasmin 71%. It's going to have to either go one rail, two rails. I like two rails because at least you're going towards that ball. But obviously you need the angle for it, right? Um, and this, this is just, I can't really see anything go wrong, but we've been wrong so many times. <laughs> you speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, now I'm right here. He might have to do a little tweener between the nine and the side pocket. Unless he wants to go three rails and go underneath it just to play it safe. No, he went for the tweener. Okay. See, over here, he could just even cinch it if he wanted to and take a longer shot on the nine ball. Because, you know, the inside spin might, might not grab. So I don't know if you want to flirt with that. You're better off just securing the shot and just sliding it over just, you know, a couple of inches and taking the longer shot on the nine. Will he force it round two rails, maybe? 
I quite like that shot, to be honest. Force it round off two yeah. rounds, just no, like good that. Good chat, good yeah, chat. I like that. Good chat. And then you're coming towards it again, and I know mm -hmm. how much you like that shot. Look Absolutely. at that. He couldn't have played that better. Beautiful shot, a real feeling shot. So he's going to pull one back here. It's going to go 2 1 in the first set. And we'll just take you around some. If you want to keep up with the scores and the brackets at all, just go to usprobilliards.com and there's all the brackets you need, the schedule, the prize money, all the info you need about all the upcoming events, including Las Vegas and then Michigan, Ohio. And then we end the season in Puerto Rico, but there's so much more to go before that, Tony. I know you're going to be in Vegas. You've got your invite to the to the Ten Ball World Championships, and you're also going to be playing in the Las Vegas Open. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty psyched. Have you discovered anything that you need to work on in your game? Is there anything part of it Absolutely. that's lacking, or? Absolutely. Um, there's a couple of things that I definitely need to work on, but I decided I'm going to keep that to myself for now until I've actually worked on them. You're not going to tell me? Mm -mm, not this time. Ooh. Keeping his cards close to his chest, huh? Here we go then. Joven breaking in the fourth rack. Trading by 2 1. Oh, crunching break. Where's the cube? Oh, he wow. thought he was going to get kicked in then. The five yeah, ball? I mean, is that the four ball? Yeah, I mean, I said, I said it would be a shame if he doesn't make a four on the break as hard as he hit him. But most of the balls are uptown now. Yeah, he's got to go for the jump stick. It looks stick like he here. broke from the opposite side of the table. <laughs> he's got the jump stick. I wonder if Steve Lipsky is in the chat. If, if you are in the chat, um, how you doing, buddy? Oh, he's a good 14 yeah, one yeah. player, right? Oh, yeah, he's, he's literally like my brother. Yeah, he sent me a message earlier actually and asked mm -hmm. when you was going to be in again. And I told him we're not having him back. He knows, he knows <laughs> I know you too did, much. And I read the message. <laughs> <laughs> so nicely, nice jump there. And he'll just drag this in. Maybe play it with some right hand just to hold it. Can he hold this, Tony? I don't know. I can't tell from this angle if it's too thin or if he's going to play safe. See? Yeah, he's played safe. Wow. Keeping the pressure on, Yasmin. I think he might have let her see it enough to hit it or at least hit the rail first, but I don't know if she can dig. She can no. dig underneath it and get the two past the seven. She's going to try to stop the cue ball there and bring the two by the bottom rail. Yeah, I'm not sure she can, Tony. She's going to have to come off the side rail, I think. I don't think she can get to that back rail, can she? She's just having a look at the shot clock. I want to say hi to everyone in the chat room. Thank you for uh, tuning into the stream and uh, for your comments. We appreciate having you there. And uh, we hope you're enjoying the match because it is a great match so far. Yeah, it's fantastic. I'm loving this. What a day. We've had a second day and we've got two more days to come. We've still got another match to come after this. Jeremy Seaman and Ooh. Torsten Holman. That was a surprise there. I think she was trying to kick it in. Did she call it? Yeah, I think she did. Jesus Asensio has taken the first set over Rick Miller, your mate. Uh, Piers Labut is three down to Tyler Steyer. Uh, Wahadi three one up against Breckett. And uh, Tokov and El Youssef are one all. And Joven with a nice chance here to draw this match level. So I think he can get past the uh, eight ball if he can. He wants to lead the cue ball, you know, go go past underneath the ten and shoot the six in the side and probably play the seven in the same side pocket. That would be the ideal angle. And you know, even if, especially if you lead the cue ball near the the rail he's shooting from, if you lead the cue ball near the rail he's shooting from, he doesn't even have to worry about. You know, all he has to do is just tap it in. Doesn't have to do anything special with the cue ball.
Wow. That was an interesting choice there. I think he decided to go that route because he wants to play the seven in the corner. I'm not sure if he can hit the six. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit <clears> acute, <throat> that seven into the yeah. side. We saw a, a yeah, nine. Yeah, it might be. We saw a nine ball that Mario, he missed in there earlier on. And uh, this is what we thought Mario should have done. Played for the, for the, the eight ball in the corner, but he, uh, sorry, played for the nine in the corner, but he didn't. He played for it in the side and missed it. Yasmin looking. I think he's going to draw for the eight in the side. Nice job getting the cue ball way further away from the rail one. That jump, I mean, running into the nine ball. A little stun here. See, now here, I like banking the nine in the side and going six rails for the ten. What do you think of that? I'm, I'm just joking. That's what I would have called. <laughs> That's what I'd have tried. <laughs> Trust me. And uh, this 10 ball goes in. We're going to nip away for a quick break and we'll see you for rack number five. So we're all level, 2-2 two -two in the first set of our penultimate game here on day two of the Apex Wisconsin Open, the CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series, round number two here in the wonderful Ho-Chunk Gaming Casino. And it's a really beautiful ballroom. What a powerful break. It's just... It's just crazy. It's just crazy how anyone can hit him that well and not get rewarded for it. And Darren Appleton actually said in the last match it should be illegal not to make a yeah. break, uh, not to make a ball off such a great break. Yeah. Danny Olsen was breaking tremendously in the last match. So she can go two rails here with follow, but I'm not sure how she's going to get past that six ball. If she's able to nip the bottom side of it, she might be able to spin it to the other side of the table. Oh, she moved there. Yeah, got up off the shot. So talk about these beautiful Predator Apex tables, Mark. Tell us a little more about them. Well, they're the one slate. And, well... They come complete with the Arcadia cloth as well, which is Predator made. It really is a sleek looking design. It's very, very pretty in my eyes. It's a pretty Predator. And the rails are very unique, actually. They've got like this coating on them, which are non-slip. And also, 
they don't show fingerprints up you know they're very yeah. easy to clean and they look beautiful and there you can see the the lights are also available the legs light up you can have different colors you can have them flashing changing yeah and they were they run great too so what do you think you think he can hit this or you think he's going to uh, play a safe yep he's going to go play a safe so he was able to see just enough yeah this is a good shot well worked out i like that but quite an easy escape here and, and she could put Jovan in trouble here actually mm -hmm. just dig into the cue ball slightly right hand english send the the two ball uptown maybe get it up by the five somewhere and the cue ball down behind the 10 hopefully that's my guess yeah no you're right it's, the key is can she dig underneath the two enough to keep it by the top rail there you see she's digging down raising the butt just six like hitter rail yeah she just caught it but you see she couldn't she couldn't hit enough you know to get it to the top rail. i don't think she got enough english on it to be yeah. honest i don't think she got into the cue ball quite enough didn't get enough right hand spin on it so a chance then and not an easy one either because i mean he would have to he would have to draw this exactly 1.2 inches <laughs> <laughs> to to end up shooting between the seven and the nine for the three, <laughs> you know. I think he's going forward actually. Yeah. Look. No, that's that's even better. If he, no, if he has the angle to do that, then that's even better. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. Mm, oh, I don't know if he enough? got there. I don't know if he got there. I think he did. I think he was banging his chalk on the table a little bit prematurely. Perhaps he hasn't got there. He might have to bank this four rails and send the cue ball underneath the eight ten. Preferably the ten, because then you have the eight, the ten, and the nine is a blocker. If he was able to, if he's able to bank this four rails, because if he banks it across, he still has to contend with the eight ball. Yep, he's going to four rails, but he did not hit it with enough speed. So you want to hit it with enough speed to make sure you get it to the top rail. That way you have all four of these balls as potential blockers, right? Yeah, now this is a test of queuing. She's going to have to, well, she can... But she's going to follow this. I don't think, you, you know, you, even though you can elevate, you make the, the shot tougher if you're elevating. Uh, you know, over here, it doesn't take much speed to come off the rail. As long as she has enough angle to avoid the scratch, I think follows the shot here. I think it's a little bit straight for that, Tony, myself, but... I can't tell. I mean, it looks like she has enough angle from here. I think that's what she's looking at, just getting down to the level of the ball to see. I, I'm elevating here. I just like the stroke for the elevation here. Yeah, very really nice. Wow, she hit that oh, great. What a great shot that is. Yeah, she hit that one like he stole something from her. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing. That's why I prefer that shot. You know, you can really let the stroke out, and I love yeah. that. that Crack in the back of the pocket. Beautiful. No, and it shows that you're confident too, you know. So now, back in prime position. Just needs to get decent on this six bolt. A little bit of work to do, a little bit of up and down, but we've just seen she's got plenty of cue power. Oh, don't go too far, she's perfect. Okay, she got a little bit of negotiating the cue ball between the eight and the ten, I'm guessing. Two rails. Yeah, I mean, she has to make sure that she avoids hitting, you know, running the cue ball into the eight ball. So she might go in between the eight and the ten, and then, you know, back to the center of the table, two rails. One, two, boom. Yeah, Just uh, Mount Everest is the only problem here. Does she get past Mount Everest? I'm not, I don't think so. That's more of a, a Moona Maggie. And yeah. do you know what a Moona Maggie is? A, a mini Everest, mini Everest. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a mountain. It's the highest yeah. mountain in Estonia, and it's called Moona Maggie, which means egg mountain, basically. It's very small. It's only 380, about 385 yards high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hill, basically. Yasmin looking to get on the hill. Played that very well with the high part of the bridge there. Now then put a nice stroke on this Jasmine. Slightly 
left eye dominant. Oh, that's a lovely stroke. Got dead perfect on that nine. So she's going to be first to the hill. Never mind mountains. And in it goes. And coming up after this match, our final match of day two, is going to be Jeremy Seaman against Torsten Holman. Um, Tony, who do you fancy in that one? Thorsten Holman and who? Jeremy Seaman. Jeremy Seaman. It's going to be a good match. It's going to be a good match. Jeremy, the local boy, well, from Michigan. Jeremy beat uh, um, Roberto Gomez yesterday. He certainly did. Sent... Roberto to the one loss side and uh, who did he play in the next round Roberto Gomez <laughs> me unfortunately when, when no, we had a good match we had a good match I scratched hill hill on the first set and gave him ball in hand and he ran out so you, that can't, wasn't, you can't argue yeah. with that there's no arguing with that so just a little word about our other sponsors Kamui of course Make amazing tips, Kamui do. Also, Seabirds for all your, your little trinkets and things like that for your pool equipment. I love those kind of places. Go visit their website. And also, Alpha Coin. Get involved. Get making some money with Bitcoin. Alpha, A L F A. So a dry break, but no damage done. Now then, you, do you push to a jump here? This is a tricky one, but yeah, you might not have a choice here, to be honest with you. So I know players that will just kick it because the jump is just too easy. You know, she's on the hill, you know. Can he kick it? He can go three rounds, maybe. And, you know, he might, if he wants a kick at it, if he wants a better kick at the one, he might want to place it at a position where it's easier to kick. Well, he's left the jump, and this is going to be very inviting for jumping Jasmine. I mean, she's come out with a jump cue. Look, she's all ready. She's ready for takeoff. Fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be taking off in about 20 seconds, and we'll be landing about one second later <laughs> hopefully on top of the one bolt here we go yeah you have to take this shot yeah i'm surprised he pushed to here honestly i am there's no way she was going to be giving this back well, what that's what i'm shot. saying considering that she's on the hill look at this roll Ooh. where's it gone where's it gone oh she been unlucky she's made wow. the three as well but unfortunately look at the replay watch this Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. Bang. Beautifully played. Living up to her name, ja Jumping Jasmine. <laughs> I was commentating on Jasmine in the Women's World Cup on David Alcady's channel, actually. And she made three jumps in a row, all successful. And I remember my co-commentator saying to me at the time, well, there's the Predator show reel ready made, the advert for the, for the jump cue without any editing needed. Three perfect jumps in a row. Mm. Oh, that couldn't have gone worse. Well, this is uh, Hovings, so, you know, uh, Joven, is how a lot of people pronounce it, but in Spanish, and I'm pretty sure in Filipino, it's pronounced joven. The J is pronounced like an H, joven. Joven means young. Does it? In Spanish, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, just has to make sure. It's going to have to come off one rail with the draw. And then come back to the center of the tail because he wants to at least be straight on the five. Even if he has a slight angle, he's okay. But you don't want you don't have to end up with too much angle on the five ball. 
Yeah, just before the side pocket, look, he's going to draw back. Don't go too far, though. He's OK. Just. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he almost overdrew that by a lot. Yeah, the cloth, very responsive. I mean, if he has, uh, if he can't hit it dead straight, then he might just make sure he has a slight angle to slide it over for the seven in the corner and the side if he's able to do that. There you go. See? Just enough angle to slide it over. And if he ends up getting straight in the corner pocket, he's good. Or in the side pocket, he's good. Yeah, this is a nice little sequence of shots coming up here. I feel like I'm a wa watching a straight pool pattern where you're barely moving the cue ball. Yeah, Tyler Steyer was 2-0 up. I think he's gone 3-2 down now to Pierce He's up 3-2. Oh, he's up 3-2, is mm -hmm. he? So let's see if he decides to uh, stop it there or roll it forward a bit, which I think he should do. There you go. Then just draw it straight back. We might have a hill hill here. I'm not going to say, don't don't try to get me to say it. I'm not going to say that's all she wrote. I'm not saying not anymore. Well, you just said not it. Not anymore. You just said it. No, I said I'm not going to say it. Oh, but I did say it. <laughs> Come off the rail. You know what loco means? In crazy. <laughs> yeah. You crazy. That's, that's what you crazy. You You're crazy. And in it goes. And you're right. We are hill hill so let's just have a a little look around the arena at some scores uh, jesus atencio won the first set 4-0 he's 3-0 up in the second against rick miller al youssef has gone a rack behind against a took off kang lee is 2-2 with brian keeling and al Hadi has taken the first set 4-1 and he's one rack down in the second to Brian Brecker. So we're all up to date. And looking around the arena, all the seats are full in the arena, I think. Just having a quick look around. Yasmin, I wonder what's going through Yasmin's mind at the moment. Joven or Hoven or Joven, however you want to say it, is ready to break off both on the hill who's nope. going to take the first set have a buddy of mine in the chat troy o'brien i played in the world junior world straight food championship with him in when we were 17 years old was that with ivory the, at, was that with ivory the, yeah. was that with ivory balls <laughs> yeah at the roosevelt hotel <laughs> <laughs> how you doing troy good to see you there buddy Oh, and yes, there is another match after break. this. I think George Taylor Chad just confirmed it. Yes, it's Torsten Holman, the hitman, against Jeremy Seaman. That will be our final match of today. And then we're back again tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central Time, with our first of six matches. Mm. I wonder if he can send that one towards the six and put the keyboard behind the nine. I can't tell if he can see that edge. Yes, he can. But he came up a little short. Well, no, he's good. He's good. It's just that, you know, he didn't, he made it a little easier. Yeah, there's a nice shot here. If she can just get yeah. around that nine ball, just flick the one ball behind the six. But it's a very touchy shot, yeah. this one. And you know, a little known trick that some of the pros do is when they play that safe mark, they try to leave the cue ball froze into the rail so that way it makes it that much tougher for you to kick two rails. So you, you know? can't get any English, you mean? Oh, the wumble, you mean? The cue ball, I mean. Oh, the cue ball? Yeah. Yeah, she got into the cue ball too much then. Yeah, well, and she didn't no hit a rail. rail either. She didn't hit a rail. So it's ball in hand. Mm hmm. Yeah, she That's meant, massive, massive. She meant to clip it thin, didn't she? Yeah. And she just caught it too thick and then obviously didn't hit it with the speed to hit a rail because that's not what the shot she was playing. Yeah. And Hoven has a choice here. He ends up with a slight angle on the two, stun it over, shoot the four in the right lower right-hand corner. 
then shoot the five and then come up one rail, top rail for the six. Or he can end up with more of an angle, right, which he didn't. I thought that was a better shot because he minimizes the movement of the cue ball this way. Just to confirm, Jesus Sancho has won 4 0, 4 0. So he seems to be queuing very well. And he'll go forward. Just enough to get past the six so that he can see the four ball, right? Now, this is, this is a tricky one. I didn't think he was going to leave that much of an angle. I thought he was going to hit a little softer so that we can just come off the bottom rail slightly and see enough of the five to pocket in the side and come up and down the table. So he's going to have to be a little more precise with the speed here. Hit it great, but, you know, still has a little bit of work to do here. Are you cutting this fine in the side or are you taking it down the corner? You know, I like hitting it in the side with inside spin and straightening it out from the top rail because if he decides to shoot it in the corner, he's not going to get much movement on the cue ball. And even if he does, he has to hit it with some speed. So if he mishits it just the slightest bit, he, he might jaw the ball. If he's able to get past that nine ball with inside spin, I would definitely shoot the five in the side. It's very fine, isn't it? Problem with the playing it into the corner is that you're drawing back. You can't go forward really, so he's playing it in the side. It looks like he might be going uh, to the other side. Oh, wow. He missed the five, Mark. He missed it in the side. Well, he's got away with this, I think. Yeah, but he might have left her enough to bank the five to the center of the table and use the 10 or the six as a blocker because she can't bank this. You can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Working out, playing, replaying the shot in his head as we often do. Yeah. Well, I was a little surprised that he shot it. I guess he wanted to play six for the opposite side, but let's see if she ends up doing what I said behind the 10 or the six, right? She wanted to place a five ball a little closer to the center of the table but i mean still this is this is no gimme here mark no, but it's a nice this shot is what play, we call though. the blood test <laughs> see if you're cold-blooded <laughs> yeah draw this off the side route back out into the center of the table yeah no he could just play safe leave the five by the nine and come two rails underneath the six of the ten Oh, he decided to go for it. Yeah, I thought he was going for it the way he was hmm. shaping up. And I'll tell you what, he's had another result here. He's been wow. very lucky. Bring wow. your jump cue with you, Jasmine. You're going to need it. Just takes a little bit <laughs> off the butt of the jump cue. Now then, this is going to be a great shot for photographers. Look at this for a, an action shot. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Wow. And it passes the 10 as well. Look at this for a yep. shot. How well has she controlled that? Yeah, she hit that perfectly. Tremendous shot. Beautifully look controlled. Look at, look at this. And we're going to get, look at that action on the cue ball as well. Beautiful shot. Think she's going to draw one rail? Nope. Dead straight. So she had an angle. She didn't. Not necessary. Yeah. Yeah, and then that, you, you just come off the rail just to gain an angle on the eight ball. Why move it if you don't have to, right? No, I thought she had an angle. I didn't know she was straight. If you're straight, you either roll forward or you just stop it there. Mm, that ball bounced off a lot more than I think she expected, to be honest with you. Well, she can, she can play this to the side and draw to the side rail and back out again. She's got, she can hit this thick enough. Won't be wanting to roll it forward, I don't think. So just cut it into the side, low right on the cue ball, drag it off that side rail, back over for the nine. Nicely played. Well, she's going to let the cue ball go a little bit, but that's okay. Nice angle. Make it nice and easy to come back down from the 10. And either or is fine. One rail, two rails. As long as you go towards that 10 ball. You just don't want to overhit it. Mm. 
nicely coming down for the 10 ball. So this then to take the first set. And if this goes in, we're going, but not for very long. And in it does go. Great shot. First set, Yasmin Ocean. Welcome back to the Lower Dells Ballroom here in Baraboo in the Ho-Chunk Casino. We're playing the Apex Wisconsin Open and Jasmine Ocean has taken the first set 4-3 and she has the break in the second set. So let's have a look at this break, Tony, and dissect it for us, mate. She hit them so well, but it's dry. Yeah, I, and and Hoven might have a billiard here on the eight with the ability, with the opportunity to play position for the one in the side, in the left hand side pocket. If he's able to hit it with some right. Yeah, he's called it, Tony. You called it. He's called it. Can he make it? But you don't want to hit it too hard. You just want you know to control the one ball here come off the rail and send it towards the side pocket and have the cue ball slowed down by the eight ball. I it's even better. Just like that. Yeah. Beautiful no, he, well, no, not he can shoot in the corner now. He has to shoot in the corner if he wants to play position for the two. You got Mr. Castillo from Mexico. How's it going? Hey, let's, hombre. Let's have everyone uh, let us know where you're from. There are people from all over the world. The beauty of the internet. Have almost 2,000 people watching the stream live. Oh, lovely. Hi to every single one of you. Hope you're enjoying all this action brought to you by CSI and Predator. So he has to figure out a way to get an angle on the two to get for the three in the side pocket, assuming it goes to the opposite side, because if it does not, he might have to play it in the same side pocket, which means... Well, even better. Look at this. Look what he's played here, Tony. He can well, play this in the corner. Well, this is assuming that the three goes in the corner past the seven, does it, Mark? You can't tell from here. Well, I was thinking about running it through, but I think it does go in the corner, but there's a... Well, can he play this in the side and, and nudge into the nine ball and free the four at the yeah. same time? What about nudging the three enough to where it'll pass? You know, I don't know. 
All right, nudging the three just enough so they'll pass. Look at that. That's exactly oh, what that's he did. A great shot. Oh, has it gone too far? No, oh. no, it goes. I think it goes. Yeah. And, and and what was what was great about that shot that people don't realize is he hit it with a lot of left and softly so that the left will throw the three a little bit to the right, slightly to the right. There you see on your screen's perfect. Now then holds it nicely for the four and then he can just roll this in. So looking good at the beginning of set number two. Now Youssef has taken the first set against Tokov. Tyler Steyer has lost the first set against Pierce Laboutis, the young man who we saw on the stream table this morning. The man from Lithuania. That's a one loss side match. Sleep two rails. He's gone a little so, bit yeah. too far to the wrong side, but it's okay. He can play the nine into the upper right, can't he, if yeah. he wants, or he can go even two rails, three rails. Yeah, he has enough room to go underneath the ten with follow. He can even go past it if he wanted to, right? Just like he did there. That's a better shot. Oh, as long as you know shot. he's not scratching in the side. Yeah. See, he's gone a oh, little far again, but he can take it off this bottom row yeah. I guess he's in good shape here yeah nicely played so he's going to take the opener great shot wow so, Mark, look over here. We have people from Texas, Arizona, Beantown, Curaçao, Sarasota, Florida, Ch Shanghai in China, Rochester, New York, San Antonio, Texas, Georgia, Wisconsin, San Diego, Morocco, Wyoming. Ah, this is awesome. Curaçao again, Colorado, New Jersey, Maryland, Florida, wow, Ohio. New Excellent. Mexico, New Mexico, wow. Hi, welcome to everyone, wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching, we really appreciate it. It's great to know where you're all watching from. And what a what a week we've got, we've had, and to look forward to as well, Tony. It seems like we've been here forever, but it's only day two. We've still got another two days yeah, to go. We're not even halfway done yet. We're almost halfway done. <laughs> And after tomorrow, we're bringing the final 16 on, on Saturday, right? Yep. Yeah, Saturday, we'll be down to the, the last 16. So, Yogan breaking from the side. Oh, lost the cue ball a little bit there. Three ball goes in. Now then, I think he's got a shot on the one ball as well, Tony. And look at the two ball over the side pocket so I can just stun this one ball in yeah the six, six ball is going to be the tricky one here he's going to have to go to the bottom rail from the five and either figure out a pocket or a safety because the six goes in the top right hand corner I mean it doesn't now because the two balls here but the two would be gone by then yeah that's a good chance then start of rack three Two, sorry. So he wants to get straight on the two if possible. Came a little short there. Uh, he should be able to cheat the pocket on the left hand side to hit it a little on the thicker side to slow down the cue ball a little more. Pinch a bit as you say. He's okay here. And as I said earlier, once he gets rid of the two ball, that six ball goes in the top right hand corner. Should he decide to try to play position for it? And worst case scenario, if he doesn't get, you know, good on the six, he can always play a safe. 
Leave the cue ball behind the 10. But he needs to get good on the 5. Yeah, nice lady insurance policy for him. And it should be easy enough to get decent position on the 5 from here. Mm -hmm. Although he might be a little bit straight here. He's okay. See, I love leaving the cue ball there because he can come down here. Only thing is that if he intends on running into these, he needs to be careful not to hit this between the six and the ten, and actually hit the six first. Because if he hits the six right before the ten, the cue ball is going to go towards the corner pocket. You know, the balls might be too high for him to not scratch, but coming off the ten, you're going to end up going towards the corner pocket, and he, you might end up with a shot because if the six runs into the nine ball and stops there, and he gets rid of the ten ball, he might end up with a six ball in the side pocket. This is a straight full shot, actually. See, look, the six runs into the nine, but he didn't hit it hard enough to get the 10 out of there. You see that? I think he's okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if he okay. can make it. I think there's a party going on somewhere in the corner of the room, but we're not invited to. <laughs> it's got very noisy all of a sudden. Yeah, if he can make it, that's great, but I'm not sure if he can. It's hard to tell from here. It looks like he's going for it. Very nice. Yeah, they say your first instincts are generally correct. I thought the way he approached it that he was okay. If you're wondering what all the noise in the background is, we do have another five tables in this tournament, but there's also another 18 down here in the Wisconsin State Championships, and there's another 40 upstairs. So the, the roof could come off this place, Tony. <laughs> I hope not, it's snowing. Well, I'll tell you what, he overcut the seven ball there for a moment there. I thought he might have missed it, but just because he overcut it, he lost a little bit of speed on the cue ball. So he has to make sure he secures the shot. Very nice, nice speed. Yeah, probably just draw this off this back route and back out for the mm -hmm. 10. Yeah, you don't want to hit it too hard. You don't need to hit it too hard with the draw to get it up there. Just enough to where you're getting at least to the spot. Played it beautifully. Very nice. So, looks like he's going 2-0 ahead. And we're going to head for just a little break and we'll be back soon. Monte leading 2-0 in the first set. The game is 10-ball. 
And of course, it's cool shot. Two races to four. Early tens do count. I fancy a golden break here, you know. I don't know why, I just feel it. <laughs> what? Let's see. I know he won't mind it because I'll put him on the hill. Well, ten ball didn't what? move very much at all this time. Seven ball did, though. Seven balls dropped. Has he got a shot on the one? Not really. He's got a view at it, so at least he's got control of the table, Tony. Mm -hmm. Kang I'm wondering Lee. if he's going to try to play him safe behind the 9, 4, and 10 ball. You know, hit it uh, with low left, I mean central left, and then place the one in front of the 6. What do you think, Mark? Oof. I mean, he can do the opposite on the 8 ball, like, but the 8 ball's there by itself. You know? I like, yeah, I like thinning this and coming down behind the 9, mm -hmm. coming behind the 9, 4 here. But he has more options to put the cue ball behind, you know? Yeah. There we go. And like I said, the one in front of the six, but the one moved a bit, but let's see if you're going to sit behind the nine. Got her behind the nine. Yeah, he's played a nice shot there. I think Jasmine will be jumping this. It's it's within her repertoire for certain and guaranteed to be, or at least have a decent shot on the two as well, if she can make this one ball. And as you say, these jump sticks from Predator, these air rush cues are just phenomenal. So here we go. There was a great pilot, an airline owner, Lauda Airways, a great Austrian Formula One driver. Do you remember him? Mm, no, I do not. He used to fly around the track. He needs to be careful here if he decides to draw, because if that cue ball comes off the four and then the ten, right, Mark? If he comes off the four and the ten. This is if, if he, he can play the 10, the 10 might go. It looks like it goes, but he doesn't want to end up going towards the two and coming off the two and scratching in the side pocket or even scratching off the 10 in the side pocket. So he has to be careful. Look, see, I almost got <laughs> Wow, well, look at the 10 ball where he's going to be going for this 10 ball now. He's going to be playing. Well, it's quite, I like the carom here, to be honest. Just to bring you up to date, Kang Lee has taken the first set against Brian Keeling and he leads by one rack to zero in the second. I wonder if he's going to play the billiard or the combo. You know, if, if, the, if, if he was able to clear that eight ball, I like hitting it, like banking it and sending the cue ball towards the 10. Wow. But I meant bank the two, like, past the eight ball, if he, if he had that angle. You know what I'm saying? Not the two to the ten. Banking the two ball, two rails, past the eight ball, underneath the eight ball, and having the cue ball come down the rail and make the ten. You know, that yeah, way the two ball's all the way over there, you I know? I preferred the billiard, to be honest, there. But he played a different way. Now then, there's an easy safety here if she wants to stop the cue ball right behind the six ball here, freeze into it. Yeah, just That's like a that. shot there. Keep some pressure on him. Make him regret going for that 10 ball. Turn the screw. <laughs> here, you just got to make sure you make contact. You don't want to get ball in hand. Referee John Lehman just out of your there you see his foot on your screens. Look, he's just come to have a, a little look at this. Just to make sure that there's no foul. We are playing all ball fouls. Oh, he made the three in the side, caught the two, unfortunately. Caught the three before the two. So ball in hand then. And she just really needs to make the four, five, six, and then an obvious eight, ten combo. Yeah, how do you like to get on the five? I like shooting the four ball in the, I mean, getting enough angle where you just slide it over. Yeah, playing it in the side, you mean? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, slide yeah. it over just for the like five that. ball. Yeah, and then stop. That way you don't have much stop. movement. Yeah. She could literally play these first four balls without touching a rail. This is good stuff. It 
So she's going to draw it back a bit, play the six in the side, and obviously go for the eight ten. You have to go for the eight ten there. Yeah, she'll be feeling pretty confident about these next two shots, I think. And this will be a nice little boost. So, what is an unmissable? I don't mind sticking my neck out here and saying that she won't miss this. And in it goes. So, 2 1 now, the score. So, what's going on, Tony? What's going on with the other matches? I uh, I know that... Well, Tyler Steyer's in a little bit of trouble. He lost the first set 4-3 against Pierce Labutis after leading 3-0. And uh, he's 2-0 down in the second set. So the young Lithuanian is playing some good stuff today. He had a little bit of a, uh, a dodgy start earlier on on the match table, it's fair to say, but he's found a piece of form and he's starting to cue well and we know how quick he can be as well. And he can run a few racks here. Oh, and saying that, he's just scratched. Just looking to my left there. Yeah, that was an odd scratch. It was weird, wasn't it? Um, Al Youssef is 4-3. So won the first set 4-3, he's 1-1 one, one in the second. Kangli, as we said, one the first set and Jesus Essentio already is through 4-0, 4-0 in two straight sets. So back to the match table, Jasmine Ocean to break off, trailing 2-1. Wow, how that one ball didn't drop, I don't know. And now then, again, yeah, she this cannot is, believe it. Grabs the big chalk. Opportunity. Grabs the chalk off the table. You can't believe she didn't make a ball there. I can't believe she didn't make a ball. And look at this. One ball over the side, Tony. Yeah, he just needs to hit it with a slight bit of spin just to get it past to the right side of the table, to the center, for the two ball in the same pocket. Just like that. Not too much spin because you don't want to run into the five, right? Yeah, judged it to perfection. Then kind of do the same here. Just, you know, get towards the center of the table. Looks like going 3-1 here. Mm, did he overhit it? I think he overhit it a bit. He wanted to come a little shy of that, so that way he had a perfect angle to go right between the side and the eight ball there. Mark, so he overhit it a bit, you see? Yeah. He's pointing there. He wanted to go right between the eight and the side pocket. I think he's got a slight he overhit angle. it a bit. He's got a little bit here. Maybe he can force it. No, I think he's going to have to draw here. I'm looking at the angle oh, from the yeah. other view, and he's yeah. definitely a lot straighter. Hit it great, though. Hit it great. Oh, yes, he certainly did. That's a great shot. Really well played. See, now he wants to end up with enough angle on the six ball. He might want to draw it one rail or come off the bottom rail if he can avoid the 10, but I prefer draw so that way you go, you end up with an angle to do a tweener. Go right in between the side pocket and the seven or more like the nine and the seven. Have to be careful with the speed here. See, I would have preferred more angle on the six so that way you don't have to worry about stunning it over. That way you could have just hit it with, you know, roll it in with a little bit of side spin and then just, you know, come short of the, right past the seven, I mean. Over here, he has to be a little more careful with the speed. Jasmine sat there the last time she was in the ballroom dancing. She finished second. She won't want to finish second here because if she does, it means she will be eliminated. So come on, Yasmin. Hit that six great. And there's no given, there's no quitting Jasmine. You know that, you know, she's a world champion. There's plenty of jazz in Jasmine. Mm -hmm. She's 
Sophie just enough angle to come back downtown. And she might be the only female competitor in this particular venue, but in the next one we go to at the Rio in Las Vegas, there will be plenty of women playing because they have their own tournament as well, even though they're allowed to play in the men's events as well, of course. And in it goes, and we'll be back. back 3-1 on the hill Jovan Bustamante to break off and what a great name that is in the world of pool we've seen this is the third Filipino we've had on the table today earlier on Roland Garcia was beaten by your friend Mr Capito Robbie Capito played a yeah great Robbie match. played great match yeah I was watching a little bit of it from up from the room so it's dry from Joven, but no damage done. I mean, there is a shot on here. If she wants to take this on, natural angle to take her down for the two, which I believe passes the four. It's only worth trying if she can play position on the two. If not, yeah. then safe is, is, is the uh, ideal shot here. She can hit the side of the one and send the cue ball parallel to the two and the ten and leave, while leaving the one ball, you know, bounce it off the rail and hopefully in front of the three. Don't want to hit it too hard if that's what she decides to do. No, she went for it. Yeah, I thought. Which was a fantastic shot. Yeah. And she's still got a shot on the two. Well, I mean, you know, it must go. She went for the one ball. Yeah. I think she just wound up hitting a little fuller than what she would have liked. Maybe that's why the cue ball came a little short of the two. Yeah, I just wanted to catch it a little bit thinner. And she still would have made the pot. I don't think she needs to rest up high though here. Yeah. She's going to try to play position for the same pocket. Well, maybe she played safe. Yeah, no, I think she did. She was trying to hit that four. That's a great shot. Tried to snooker her on the four ball. He's got away with it, though, you know, hasn't he? Now she might be able to snooker him on the six. Yeah, this is a touchy little shot, though, isn't it? Yeah, but I kind of like. I mean, well, she doesn't have the angle to do so. But you know, sometimes when you, if the, when the cue ball's at the correct spot, you can not only play a person safe here, you can 
send the two ball towards the five and the nine in the hopes that when they kick and they hit it, they break up any cluster you might have in that area just because you move the ball to the, the area where the cluster is, right? Yeah, I think she's looking at just banking this around the table. She can definitely she can rails. definitely do that. She just has to make sure that the cue ball doesn't run into the two ball on the way there. Yeah, I like stun running this through. Just like that. Send it around the angles, and that's a decent shot if she can mm -hmm. just make this rail. That's a half decent shot that I like. Yeah. Getting distance, Tony. It's not always about hiding the ball, is it? Sometimes distance is just enough. I've been saying for years to my students, distance is no friend, my friend. <laughs> Distance scares I love, people. I love you. You've got you've got a, a saying for every occasion, haven't you? You should write greetings cards. Have you ever thought of writing <laughs> Christmas cards and stuff like that? <laughs> I'm a Christmas nerd, actually. You should see how I decorate the house. For Christmas. Oh, I can imagine. You're like National Lampoon's Christmas <laughs> I, vacation. I had the best looking house on the block, if you can believe that. I, do I went all out. It. I went all out this year or last year. <laughs> This is awkward. I'm not even sure. Well, look at this, Tony. Have a look at this. This is very. This looks very awkward to me. She's looking at the one rail escape here. This is awful. I don't know. She she might have to mass it. Can she mass it, or can yeah, she even I'm, see the ball? I don't know. I I'm can't tell worried. from here. I'm just, just has to make sure she doesn't hit the floor. She's trying to mass it. That's my point, you know. She's so close to that oh, four ball. She, she made it. Wow, what a great shot that, that is. Nice hit. Very that was nice. Worth hit. a round of applause. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on, yeah. she deserves it. Great Massey, that was. Being so close to the that four ball. Right on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> and so I'm wondering if see he, he can he can easily get past the nine ball if he hit the two uh very thin, but he's gonna leave her a very easy kick, but he might not have much of a choice here to be honest with you. It's going to leave her a very easy kick, but, you know. Now, that, look, I fancy her making the five here. Yeah, but, but his mistake was making, not, you know, he needed to make sure that he didn't leave the, the combination on. Just a quick score update for you. While well, Yasmin eyes up this combo, here's Labutis 2-1 up in the second set and one set ahead. Um, Bader Alwadi has gone through in straight sets 4-1, 4-2. Oh, wow. She hit that thinner than what she wanted to. Thin. Now, has she had some luck? Well. He might have to put her on top of the eight. You know, he has two options here. Put it, put her on top of the eight or try to bank it four rails by the five, nine, leave the cue ball, you know, like make move the cue ball between the eight and the, the ten. But, you know, you once you move that two ball from there, you have a gap there between those balls, between the three, seven, eight, and 10. I like rolling it there. See, there it goes again. Did he call that? No, he didn't. Yeah, I learned my lesson with that. I call it every t single time, just in case I happen to get lucky and make it. So, I did that shot. in Arizona. In Arizona, I made a ball that I thought about calling and I didn't, and I have easy position for the next shot, and I was like, sick. There's a nice crowd around this table now. There really is. And all the pros are watching. Lots of people mixing from the, the state championships as well. All the local teams are here playing the Wisconsin Open. And they're all crowding around. So now you've got three rails here. Center of the table, Mark. And you're right. There's a, a great crowd over here. That's it. And wait to wait till you see how, how much more crowded it gets if there's a shootout. Yeah, Yasmin will be hoping it won't go to a shootout. Mm -hmm. This will take her to 3-2 if she can clear up here. Then she'll be breaking to go hill-hill. And who knows, breaking to win the set and the match. Little inside spinneroni here. Play the six in the opposite pocket. Yeah, played that nice. Even the referees from the other tables are over here now. Who's watching them tables? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is a bit of a superstar as well, Jasmine been on the circuit for a few years now 
gold medalist at the World Games, silver medalist, bronze medalist, world champion at Tembo. Very impressive. And she's got. Mm, I don't think she wanted to do that. She overdrew that ball. She overdrew that ball. Hoven is looking like, hmm, this might be a chance. Might be another opportunity, even if it's a kick shot. She's probably going to have to play safe here, Mark. Yeah, no shot here. I'm wondering if she can get the seven past the eight and try to bring the cue ball four rails behind the nine. She's playing the cue ball behind the... Well, the, the ten, eight. yeah, the ten, the just ten. tap it, yeah. yeah. You have two blockers there. Yeah, good shot. Yeah. She's thinking good clearly. Shot. Keep it simple. Buddy Hall style, right? Buddy Hall. One of my favorite singers was Buddy Holly. I don't know whether he played pool or not. Oh boy. Yeah, just straightened it off that back rail, but I think he's going to leave this, is he? Well, I mean, it's a backwards cut. It's a thin one, but you know, it's makeable. But, uh, so come on, Yasmin. We want to see. We want to see her go through, don't we? Yeah. If she can hit it with inside spin and shorten the angle coming off the first rail, she'll go two rails and play the ape on the low right hand corner. Yeah, just as you suggested, that's where well, she's aiming. Yeah, but you know, she. You know, when you hit it with the draw, you lose a little bit of that forward momentum, so it helps kill the speed of the cue ball. But I don't know if she has the angle to do that. I don't know if she's able to do that. Yep, she did. Oh. She did. Oh, and she she's did. caught it. That's okay. She yeah, won't mind no, that's that. That's fine. She she killed the speed of the cue ball. She hit great. Just played to come past it, but that's just as good. And she deserves a little bit of run. So two route, two rails for the cue ball here. Up for the nine. This is getting exciting, Tony. Sure is. I'm loving every second of this. Got dead perfect on that nine ball two to come down for the 10 in the low right hand corner see i like coming off the second rail here mark but you know some players like to just slide it over i like hitting it with following a little bit of right go two rails just like, like that tony go right towards the 10 right towards that 10 ball yeah this is absolutely perfect on the 10 ball then to go three two and we could be heading hill hill because jasmine is going to have the break and a huge round of applause now. This is really, really heating up and games heating up all over the place here. Mm -hmm. So exciting and it's getting very noisy. I can't wait until Sunday. Who's gonna lift the trophy on Sunday, Tony? It, you, you're out of it now, so you don't have to say it's you. Who's gonna lift the trophy? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know who else is left, to be honest with you. I know that... Uh one of my favorites to win it is Darren. Um, the way I saw him play last night, I feel like I was watching vintage Darren, yeah, Darren in his prime. Be, so. Darren plays tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We're not sure which match will be on the stream table yet, but that could be in with a, ch in with a shout of being on the stream table. We'll let you know as soon as we know. On the stream table now is Jasmine Ocean. Two, three down but one set ahead. So the, the least she can expect is a shootout, but she'll be hoping to run these next two racks and take the match two sets to nil and look at the desire in those eyes. Ooh, the, she almost drew in the side pocket there. The I'm not sure she's gonna pocket anything. Just not got the break working, has she today? Nope. And I think he might see enough to make it, but I, he can't really go for this. He might want to take a free shot at the 10 ball here. If he can hit it thin enough and avoid, you know, opening up the 2-6. I see what you mean. Send the 1 back behind the 2 and the 6 and then draw over to the 10. Yeah, he, he would He would want, well, I wouldn't want to run into the 2-6 because if I leave a shot in the 1, I want her to deal with the problem there, you know. If he's able to bank it past the 2-6, I think he's just playing ten. a straightforward safety, Tony. Send the one Well, if he can hit the left down. side of the pocket, the ball, then that's definitely the shot. Yeah. I don't think he could hit that. Just like that. That's the shot. Yeah, it didn't look like he could hit that. See, that's the thing. When, you, when you're looking in from here, you, it's tough to see if you can hit the whole ball or not, you know? But that was the right shot for sure. Yeah, this isn't easy now. She's got the one rail, but 
it's a difficult one missed the five it's a small target isn't it and being so close to the rail it's hard to judge she's called something i don't know what she's called yeah i think she said come and watch this i think that's what she said oh what a great hit what a great hit and she won't mind that that's not too bad could have been mm -hmm. worse tony could yeah, have been worse. Could be worse that's right could have been ball in hand but it isn't this is a tricky one here mark because if he wants it to go one rail he has to hit you see where he pointed his cue it's a little tricky to hit there and, and you know while trying to avoid a double hit on the one ball he wants to hit it with like center left or high left to go one rail and try to go underneath the five six and two Oh, he tried to go for it. He went for it. Yeah, he certainly did. Now then, is... I it, it's the two is straight. Yeah. He's got to go for the triple combination. I was going to say, is it a three-ball combination? I'm not sure it's quite lined up, but there's a little gap between them where it can be made. There is a nice safety on, though, if she doesn't want to take any risks. Well, she knows that he's on the hill. She's going to take what she feels comfortable with. She's going to go one rail with the one ball and have the cue ball run into the two or the six and leaving the cue ball behind the five, right? Yeah. Boom. Great right? shot. Perfectly played. Yeah. Nice shot. A very appreciative audience here as well. In the, the Lower Dells Ballroom here in Baraboo at the Ho-Chunk. Yeah. That's what I call the killing two birds with one stone shot. Opened them up. You play a safe and you open them up while playing the safe, right? I think he is he jumping this. He has to jump this, surely. Yeah, you, I, I, I don't know if he can get past the three. He's going to call this extension. He might have to go two rails, maybe possibly three rails, and hit the one. Maybe calling in the corner. Yep, he's calling it in the corner. There's a chance of making the eight ball here as well. That's the thing. You can only call one ball yeah. at a time, right? That's a shame. <laughs> I'll be calling three balls every time, Tony. They, oh, the eight almost Ooh. went now. Look at this for a chance to go level. Oh, he's just tied the two up slightly. Yeah, but if she can leave the cue ball where it's at now, after pocketing the one, whether it's drawing it straight back or going, you know, past the seven and the, and the four and coming back down there, she can run out. Yeah, it needs to take the cue ball three rails. Don't think she can hold, draw back off that. It's a little bit too thin, I think. Yeah, all she has to do is place it anywhere near where she's shooting from now. And there you go. Oh, she could. Yeah. It was straight enough. What a call. good call, Tony Robles. Now then. Now go between the eight and the five. Play the three in the side. Even if you were to get straight on the three, you can still draw back a bit to get on the four ball in the low, top right-hand corner. So you don't have to do anything fancy. But if you do run into the five, you want to hit the top side of it and make sure the cue ball escapes. Right? There you go. Like Just like that. Yeah, perfect. Beautifully played. Okay, she's the wrong side, but she can just play this with a little bit of left-hand English just to hold it on that line. Well, she has a little more angle than what it looks like here. I'm looking at it from the other angle. You know, she can still kill the cue ball but she really wants to kill it because by moving the five there you know she has to get a little better on the five now and and on the four i like that shot because she can well she uh, overhit she's it she's gone too far but she can still draw it one rail come back down to this side of the table possibly two rails he might she might hit two rails right past the side pocket she'll hit right before the front the right side pocket and draw past the left side pocket and even if she just drew to the center of the table, not to get too fancy or hit the ball hard, she's still in great shape there. She just needs to focus on pocketing the ball. Very nice. Yeah, she's played it beautifully. What a great shot that is. Just a little bounce. That's okay. She can get low on the cue ball here. And this is a good performance here. And I'll tell you, if she can run this out, she's breaking for yeah. the match. I'll tell you something else 
Jasmine Ocean will be loving this big crowd that's gathering around this table. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying she's an underdog by any chance because she's not. Oh, no, not, not by any stretch of the imagination. Absolutely and and she shoots those spot shots really well. Yeah, she'll be hoping she doesn't need any spot shots. Well, I'm saying if it were to go to a shootout, she shoots them really well, you know? So. Yeah. Two rails right here, or one? Just one. One rail. And it's gone de deathly quiet here. Anticipation. Gonna be going hill hill this nice temple now then. And it'll be the second consecutive uh, hill hill match, right? And in it goes and we'll be back very soon. Don't miss this. In general, I'm a very, very excitable person, and I'll tell you, I'm literally on the edge of my seat here. This is a fantastic match. Really, really enjoying this with me still. Tony Robles in the commentary booth, and let's have a look at this break. We're hill, hill. Yes, I mean, Ocean needs to make a ball here. It would be great if she could. She's been hitting it pretty solid. But that time she really cut that one ball. I don't know if that was intentional, but she did not get a good result there. Yeah. Luckily for her, she might have gotten away with it. I mean, if he decides to bank this, he will hit the nine thin enough to come off it and send the cue ball off the rail a bit, enough to see the two ball. So this is this is a big, big shot. This is this might be the deciding shot right here. This will decide whether he goes to a tiebreaker. Or whether he goes oh, home. Or whether he goes home. Yeah, I, my only, my only, it's not a criticism, but the only thing I'm questioning with Jasmine's break is why hasn't she tried to do something different? Why didn't she yeah. swap sides? Why didn't she go slightly? Why didn't she move the cue ball slightly? Why didn't she take a little bit off the break? Just yeah. try something different. I know it's only four, you know, it's short races. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't keep doing the same thing, Tony. No, yeah, you got you have to make an adjustment. Yeah. Wondering if uh, Hoven is uh, considering... Calling an extension? Considering <laughs> uh, uh, banking the one ball and sending the cue ball between the three and the six. But, it, you know, he was kind of looking at that angle earlier. And if he did do that, it's dangerous because he could potentially scratch if he mishits it. That's what or he's misjudges at. it. He's looking at the safety now, look. 
Because if he puts a one ball on that side, you know, there's a potential of putting it in front of the seven or the eight, but there's also the danger of selling out. See, he decided to hit it softer. Now he's got one ball safe, has he? Well, yeah. he yeah. has. But see, over here, Jasmine can do a ticky. You know what a ticky is in billiards? You hit the rail first, hit the ball first, and then hit the rail again with the cue ball. And make you know, the eight ball. And no, and, and leave the cue ball behind the eight ball. You know, you can make the eight ball, you know, if the eight ball a little closer to the rail. I don't think it's possible to make it here. I'm not sure. I'll send the one you ball have to by hit the seven, really you mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, you know, if you hit the rail first, hit the one, and have the cue ball go just, you have to hit it really soft, really soft, and hit the one just right. Hit the one ball full enough to slow down the cue ball. Yeah, decision time. She's got the alternative of coming thin off the. I don't want to hit this too hard if you want to use that shot. No, I think she's going to go the other way. Try to go around. Yeah, that's what I like coming off thin. Yeah, I like that shot. The only problem was making the eight there. and. Yeah, um, I, I like the ticky better, to be honest with you. I just think that you know shooting it that way you had to hit it too perfect you know two ball right over this bottom right hand corner pocket now also so you can just concentrate 100 percent on the pot here once again you see low left on the cue ball look extreme left and do you see him jump up there yeah that's when he's striking the ball and that's pressure yeah and look at this for a chance yeah. for jasmine and I tell you, if she can get a decent position on this two ball, and then two to the three, she should win this. Wow. And she was, was it 3-0 down? In the second set. Yeah, because I mean, you shoot the three in the side or even in the opposite corner pocket. Then you can draw the four to the to and leave it where the cue ball is now, and then the, the five is easy position for the six, and then you got the seven eight combo. It's just the seven to the nine is the only real you know toughie that I see here. You know, you see Superman in the background and mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy Seaman. Oh, she didn't really get a hold of that. She's I think okay. she's fine. I think she can run into the six and, you know, use it as a stopper here. I think she has a, the appropriate angle for that and maybe even get past it. You know, the thing is that, you know, she did overhit it, which, you know, makes it harder for her to get, the, you know, a better angle on four to the five, you know, to go from the four to the five. But right now, the main thing is to focus on just pocketing the ball. To dig down here. This is missable. She's going to draw it to the rail. There you go. Oh, she stroked And then that. just draw it back. Yeah, no, she hit it great. Just when she needed to find a nice stroke and a deep breath there, now she knows this is the opportunity. It's mm -hmm. all on her now. Yeah, she can either draw it or follow it. Just need to make sure that you avoid that side pocket at all costs. Oh, wow. oh, she's caught it well. She's had a right result there. Taps the table in apologies, I think. <laughs> I don't think she played that, but it couldn't have landed. Well, it could have landed a bit better, but it's okay. See, now she has to go two rails and play the six in the opposite side pocket or in the corner. I like playing in the side pocket here. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, come around two rails. Mm -hmm. because this it, is perfect now yeah. the blood will be pumping around those veins like she's on a, a triathlon i'd love to see a heart rate monitor on her right now and this is a great performance just four balls away See, now here you just tap it super light because you want it to replace the seven with the eight ball and then still have enough angle to just come down for the nine ball. Super light. There you go. You don't want to move the seven that much at all. And it goes. This is great stuff. I'm loving this, Tony. I don't know about you. Oh, this is a fantastic match. How are you loving this at home, everyone? 
This is brilliant. And you know, it's it's hard to. I'm not trying to jinx it, but it's hard to screw this up. Even if you got dead straight on the nine, all you had to do was draw straight back enough to just cut the ten ball. I uh, wasn't expecting her to go that far down, though. But like I said, even if you got straight, just draw it back a bit. Preferably pass the side pocket. Ooh. Oh, no. What's she done there? She's jumped up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, jumping Jasmine. You've jumped the wrong thing there. And he still has to come up with a nice shot here with inside spin. But Holman can take this into a shootout if he po pockets this and gets position on the 10. Let's see. The excitement is still there. The drama is still there. Wow. What a great shot that was. We're going to be going to a shootout. Unbelievable. And in it goes. So a shootout it is, and it will be Jasmine's second one of the day. We started this morning with a shootout, and there on your screens, four innings alternate sides. And the little green box is where they will shoot from for the first four innings. Each player will shoot from the same side. And then wherever we are after four innings, if the scores are still level, we will go to sudden death. And it's Joven who broke first. So he gets the choice and he chooses to go first. So he can choose the side also where he starts from. So Tony... We saw Jasmine earlier on played the shootout shot very, very well indeed. Uh, Joven lost his shootout as well. So we've got two players here who both know what it feels like mm -hmm. to lose a shootout. But one of them has to win it. Who's it going to be? First one. Get it with confidence. Goes in. The shot clock is still in use for the shootout and no extension, of course. So, first blood to Joven Bustamante. The referee, John Lehman, will place the 10 ball where it's racked in the rack, not on the spot where it's racked in the rack. Right, right part of the 10 ball up and down. So there's nothing to aim at. Now, trust your technique. Oh, she's Ooh. missed it. A little bit of movement on the shot there. A little bit anxious, maybe. So, slight advantage then to the Filipino. Yeah, you can clearly see she's frustrated, but she knows how to, you know, Get that out of her mind before her next opportunity. So, you know, when you're sitting in the chair, that's the time to let off the steam, refocus, and come back to the table, you know, ready for the next one. There's a scary face at the window. Oh, a little bit. Oh, Look where's that. the cue Look ball going? Oh. It's in, it's scratched. It doesn't count. It, it won't count. count. Well, that counts as a miss. So Jasmine with a chance now to level things up. And Joven being the, the first player here, I know you like to go first. You've always said that you like to go first in the shootout. If Jasmine can make this ball now. It's going to put a little bit of pressure on Joven. So come on, Jasmine. Keep that head still. She moved slightly on the last one. Yes, right in the heart of the pocket. Great shot. So we're level once again. We've had two innings. It's 1-1. One, one. They've both missed one each. 
We've still got one more match to go. Torsten Homan is waiting to get onto the table with Jeremy Seaman. That will be our final match due to start at 9 p.m. tonight. And Joven, shot number three. Wow, played with authority. Doesn't want to scratch this time yeah. and didn't. The boot is just uh, knocked out Tyler Steyer by the score of 4-3, 4-3 in two straight sets. Wow. So Tyler, the man from Oshkosh, the local boy, is out. Jasmine Ocean still very much in. Wow, perfect. So 2-2, two, two. we've had three innings. We've got one more innings to go. And if we're still level after that, you're gonna see John Lehman, the referee, place that cue ball back a diamond. You see where Jovan has just placed it. He won't be able to do that should he get another shot. He'll have to take it back one diamond. And that's when it gets really difficult. As if it wasn't difficult enough already, Tony. <laughs> You notice I'm almost always quiet for these shootouts because I'm just enjoying it so much. It's, I mean, the, you can cut the tension with the knife here. It's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, there is a massive crowd over here surrounding the entire table on the outside of the arena. Yeah, it's amazing. I love the camera just to go around the periphery of this arena and just show you the crowd that's come over. And Jasmine must make this ball to stay alive to take it to a sudden death. So this is a very, very crucial shot right here. And she hit it and like a dream. In beautiful shot. So now the cue ball will be placed behind the first diamond. And Joven gets the choice again to choose which side they want to start the sudden death. Well, I've just learned something there. I didn't know that that was the rule. Did you, Tony? That he gets to choose a side? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I, I knew that. No, I knew it at the start of the shoot, but I didn't yeah. actually know it. It happened when the box shrunk. Anyway. I kind of like that, though, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, good idea. So he's chosen to go from that side. Oh, he doesn't wow, hit a great. miss him, does he? Just that one scratch. He hasn't missed the 10 ball, but no. he did scratch off one. And I think, well, it's certainly the first scratch I've ever seen. And that's why we're still at the shootout. If he didn't scratch, he would have won already, right? Yeah. Because like you said, he hasn't missed one yet. No. And this is the clever part of this shootout because now you've just got used to shooting that one and now it all changes, Tony. The pocket comes into play, of course, here. Wow, wow. right into the heart of the pocket. The crowd are loving this. It's 4-4. Four, four. Whoever wins this has earned it. Absolutely. Because it's been one hell of a match. It Mark. was it's, great. It's, it's by far one of my favorite matches of the event so far. Jasmine winning the first set 4 3. Joven winning the second one 4 3. And we're 4 4 in the shootout. Wow. And straight in. Oh, I thought he might scratch cool. in the side there for a second. Yeah. He's certainly flirting with the pockets. So the tension builds. The longer we go on, the more tension there is. Wow. And you've got to feel sorry for the first person that misses now. Oh, yeah. This is awful. This is punishment. Oh, 
Wow. And in it goes again for Jasmine Ocean. And I did mention before this morning shootout that I saw her practicing this shootout early this morning, about 8.15 when I came down for my coffee. Mm -hmm. And she made eight in a row. I believe it. Does it? Does Joe then look like he's going to miss, though? I mean, not really. Well, I mean, uh, you know, Joven shot a withdrawal when he was in the first box. Now that he's in the second box, he's shooting with foul. You notice that? Yeah. Jasmine looking down, not watching. And in it goes again. This is like a boxing match. <laughs> jab, 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 jab. Who's going to fall down first? You knock down the first guy. The guy comes back, knocks you down again. This is, I can't remember being this nervous. <laughs> Honestly, I can't, Tony. You just feel bad because it's someone horrible. has to lose, you It's know? horrible, yeah. yeah. I just put myself in their position. Oh, oh wow. and she's missed it. It's over. We'll be back soon with the last match of the night.